Okay. Well done. Okay. It's fine. We're going to embarrass us, Cal. Are we live? Yeah. Is this on YouTube? So this is Matthew Collins. Make sure you screenshot. This is a guy that works for Hope Not Hate. This is a guy that goes around fabricating stories about people because he he's so miserable. He can't say what's fabricated. Fabricate figures. Yeah. What? You figures. fabricate figures about rape. You fabricate figures. Was it Tommy Robinson's uh, panorama? I would have to get, go onto my phone and get it. Tommy Robinson you exposed it. You go onto your phone. I'll come back in an hour. You find which figures are fabricated. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So give give the camera an example. Tell the I'm a far extremist. Well, he's a bit of a knobhead. Is this life? He's a knobhead. So, this, this, look, this is brilliant. Come on, give me a dignified answer of how I'm a far right extremist. Well, what do you believe in? What do I believe in? I believe in free market. I believe in the United Kingdom. Where's, where's the free market? I believe in the free market. Is that the right for companies to make a living from the people as well? I believe in an economic I believe in an independent sovereign United Kingdom. Well, what, what is it? What? Independent of the what European is it? Union. What is the United Kingdom? Think I the United Kingdom is a country. It's a kingdom. Who is who's in the United States? The economic centre. Well, it'd be England, oh. wouldn't it? It's the hub. London is the financial hub. There you go. Well, it's brilliant, isn't it? He knows everything it's about economics. I don't need to know everything about economics. Not everything about economics. It's about how our society is changing. And it's about the hate that is being whipped up in our society yeah. because of your organisation. Yeah. Yeah. Your organisation. Who do you think you are? My mum's been living in fear because of what your organisation did. You sent a dossier not to the because, mainstream media. What, what have I done that is so bad? Tell me what have I, I done. Know, have I, I attacked know. anyone? Have I hurt anyone? No. Well, I've confronted a treacherous politician over her not. views and I called her a Nazi. And guess what, guys? She's behaved like one ever since, getting me taken off social media. Look at him. I'm going for a pint. But look, this is. I'm going for a pint. Ladies and gentlemen. Please. Right, well, look at Hope Not Hate. Hey, look at who I those people are. These are cowards. You bought any smack in Manchester lately? Bought any smack? So why? See, no, you have to try throwing personal Who are you talking to me? Come on. <laughs> You've got an awful lot to say when there's no one around. But when I'm here, you've got nothing to be saying. Mate, you go on national television and you try and besmirch Speak. my name. Speak to Speak. me. Tell me why I'm so bad. Let's try and find why some Why are we afraid the far right? So why is it? Why am well, I so bad? How am I bad? How am I bad? What? Because I confronted Anna Subra. Well, you're a bit fit. I'm a bit fit. <laughs> so tell me what I'm a bit. Name calling. Again, so, 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 so this is your argument. We shouldn't talk to him because he's fit. No, mate, you're oh. scared of the message we bring. What you message know what? do you bring? What the message, you bring? The message of hope to people to stand up to organisations like you that breed hatred. Yeah. Don't exactly. see you going outside any mosque, do you, exactly. and protesting there. Well, Don't see scared. you going to Didsbury oh. Mosque and condemning the hate breacher that caused the death of 22 I'm innocent I'm people I'm in this city. No. So condemn, condemn Antifa and condemn Hamas. Why would I condemn no. Hamas? Oh, no, right, let's oh. get this, guys, right? So Hamas are a prescribed Islamic terror organisation that fat nonce here don't want to I, I condemn Hamas. I condemn Hamas. I, I condemn Hamas. Yeah, I know. I condemn Hamas. Why, 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 why do you condemn Jeremy Corbyn, Matthew? For what? For supporting the IRA, for supporting Hezbollah, for laying a reef at the grave. How was Jeremy Corbyn ever... So Jeremy Corbyn put £20,000 of his own money up for for the IRA bomber that attempted well. to kill Margaret Thatcher in 1984. Our money. We'll have to go online again. Your money. money. What, you put money yeah, into it? Taxpayers' money. How about it? No, why are you? Why, if you're... No, wait, let me you ask you. Show let me ask this. You show me evidence. Guys, why, if it's Hope Not... Let's get this. Look, coward. Why? If Hope Not... If Hope Not Hey... James, you tell lies. I tell lies. What lies do I tell? When did Jeremy Corbyn put 20,000 pounds? He'll come back in a bit like he said in an hour. When did Jeremy Corbyn come back? Should we go for a pint, Matthew? Come on, should we have a pint? Let's go with it. You're buying, mate. You're buying, mate. You don't like it. Do you? Do you? You don't like your vote, okay? Do you? No, no, no. Get on the track. John, make sure you record this. So, Matthew. He's not coming. He's a heroin addict. So, how's it? So, <laughs> I'm an heroin addict. Oh, mate, look, let's get, let's get this on camera, right? So, look at all the blood coming storming out because we've got Matthew Collins running into the building. It's an absolute disgrace that this man represents hope, not hate, but he won't answer any of the questions. And then they call the Stasi police. Really? How many of them? Come on, come on. What do you mean, hate, not hope? Don't end it. Don't end it. Hold on, guys. Sorry about this. Oh, me stick. 
So, the man that's just gone in there is a definition of a beta male. <laughs> this man has gone on national television. Not only has he slandered my name, he's slandered many other Patriots' names. And then when you go and ask these people a few questions, they don't want to answer them. Why doesn't he want to answer the questions? Because he knows everything that he says is a lie, a complete, utter lie. But uh, <laughs> let's get a second generation Wimrush. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, John, I mean, let's, why is he calling you? Uh, he's saying you're a I heroin know, yeah, addict. He said I was a heroin addict. He said I've bought drugs what? in Manchester lately. That's what he said. Um, well, he, um, if they fit up, not here, seem to know a lot about people. They absolutely don't know nothing about me. Yeah. They absolutely don't know nothing about me. Um, they can't touch me because they don't know nothing. They can't touch me because I don't trigger like the others do. They can't touch me because there's nothing for them to touch. You know what I mean? I don't have any family or kids. I don't have a missus who works in school or anything like that. So I'm, un I'm pretty untouchable and they, they like to throw accusations around. But a drug addict, honestly. Yeah. And um, for lesser than that, I've, I've, I've kicked off. So? <laughs> I'll sit down with anyone from Hope Not Hate and have a conversation with them if they really want to talk, but they don't and they run and apparently I've got mental health problems. <laughs> but John is definitely not a heroin addict and the fact that he has to resort for stupid little personal insults because he's got no substance in his argument and then you see, let's go and see what Patriot Kim's doing. Let's go and have a look at our Kim. Kim, where's the coward? Where's the coward gone? The coward's run away, lad. That's what cowardly customers Right, we'll go on. I know there is. Let's get the number plate, guys. Make sure we get all of them. Good. <laughs> Jim, you're live. What did you make of Matthew? Matthew, I thought he was an absolute coward, like I say. No, I, I'll, I'll take that back, because he stood there, he was surrounded by what he thinks is a, a, his enemy, and he stood there, he was able to take all your rational argumentation and block it out. I mean, it must take some psychological strength to stand in the way of all that rational argumentation and just nod along. So, so what, what do you make of, uh, apparently I'm a far-right extremist because of social and economic problems. Am okay. I far-right, Jim? No, because well, and, and it, that was evident in the fact that he couldn't qualify what far right is, and it and it goes to prove that they're just using it in a pragmatic sense to destroy people's reputations by name calling. It proves that they haven't actually got any kind of rational argumentation to back up their policies, so they'll just shout names. And we have to start to expect this now, and we have to start getting over this fear of being called names like far right and fascist. And Whatever, yeah. and all these labels that they can't actually justify. And we need to actually start to use the same tactics that they do because they're effective. We, we are losing a battle here yeah. because we've not figured out how to influence. We'll know the results so, soon, guys, uh, for the Tommy result. Oh, Le Pen won, apparently, which is great news. Great news, fantastic news. Guys, what do we think of hope, not hate? Lord, oh hate not hope. Hate not hope. Hate not fucking hope. Hate not hope. No hope. <laughs> So guys, we're going to I'm going to shoot off now and we'll be back as soon as we know any more results. Or if we see any more, uh, we're still waiting for Wajid Khan to come out. He's a Labour representative that ran away from me in Oldham. So we're going to wait and see if he comes out and if he has a conversation.